be all right. Mr. Roth, can you tell us when your brother first became acquainted with John Wilkes Booth? Mr. Surratt, you will answer the question. I believe my brother met him January last. Three months before the assassination. He must be mighty pleased to have befriended such a famous actor. You'll have to ask him. Well, I'm sure we'd all like to ask him. Your brother proudly called himself a friend of Booth's, did he not? Mr. Aitken, what are you doing? Mother? Mr. Surratt, Mr. Surratt, please. Mr. Surratt. I never asked what my brother's relationship was to Booth. It was at John's invitation that he first came to your home, was it not? Yes. Does this picture of Booth belong to you? I found it in a gallery one day, and I bought it. Your brother must have been pleased that you held his friend in such high regard. No. No? No. He told me to tear it up and throw it away. Why? Why did your brother tell you to destroy a photograph of his friend Booth? No, Mr. Aiken. Please. I beg of you, please. please. Order. Mr. Ross, please. Answer my question. I suppose he was trying to protect us. He was trying to protect you and your mother? Yes. Why would he need to protect his family? Now you have to choose. I suppose he and Booth were planning something. He was planning something. Did you know what? Of course not. When did you last see your brother? He left at the beginning of April. Days before the assassination, did he tell you where he was going or what he might be planning? He only said he had to leave. And did you or your mother try to stop him? Yes. But we couldn't. How could you? He was angry. He was frustrated with the war. He hated the Union. He would have done anything in his power, even risk his own family to aid Booth in his cause. But, Miss Surratt, did your mother conspire with John Wilkes Booth? Absolutely not. There are no more questions. General Hunter, the government understands why Miss Surratt would be moved to the most extraordinary lengths conceal her mother's guilt, including incriminating her own brother. My mother is innocent. Miss Surratt, you're dismissed. The government no longer deems it necessary to hold you. You are free to leave. I just want to see my mother. Please. I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry. Please. Please let me see her. <laughs> 